you. Let's go straight to Baltimore now and have a listen into that news conference that's starting right now. Everybody good? Everybody ready? Okay, good morning. My name is Chief James Wallace. I'm the Chief of the Baltimore City Fire Department. I'm joined this morning by our Mayor Brandon Scott, Council President Mosby, Councilwoman Porter, County Executive Johnny Oshevsky, and Baltimore County Fire Chief Joanne Rund. Um, our brief this morning will be an update on the search and rescue operation that's ongoing at this point. So at approximately 0140 hours this morning, our 911 center dispatched a call to the Baltimore City Fire Department for a report of a water rescue um, in the Patapsco River in the area of the Key Bridge. As units were responding, they began to receive numerous calls indicating multiple people in the water. At some point during that, that chain of events of calls, uh, we began to receive indications that a, uh, a ship may have struck the key bridge. We got further information through multiple calls that the key bridge, um, portions of the key bridge had actually collapsed. At about 0150 hours, our first unit arrived on scene and reported um, a complete collapse of the key bridge. Um, we were also given information at that time that there were likely multiple people on the bridge at the time of the collapse and that as a result multiple people were in the water. We were able to remove uh, two people from the water. One individual refused service and refused transport. Essentially that person was not injured. However, there was another individual that's been transported to a local trauma center that is in very serious condition. At this time, we have multiple air assets from the Maryland State Police, as well as the Baltimore Police Department, as well as multiple marine assets from around the region, including Baltimore City, Anne Arundel County, Baltimore County, as well as multiple local and state police uh, agencies, uh, National Resources Police, um, BPD Special Ops Unit is in here, Maryland State Police is here. We have multiple resources. We are still very much in an active search and rescue posture at this point, and we will continue to be for some time. We have a large area that we have to search. This includes on the surface of the water, subsurface, as well as on the deck of the ship itself. We believe at this point, we may be looking for, we may be looking for upwards of seven individuals. That's the latest information we have. However, what I will say is, is the information that I'm giving you right now is as of right now. That's what we know right now. Um, this is a very large incident. It involves a very large footprint multiple agencies are operating therefore information is subject to change as we get more intel um, and as our crews work through the morning um, over the next eight to twelve hours you can expect to continue to see um, our air and maritime assets functioning um, out on the water and in the air above um, we need to do damage assessment of of the ship itself before we can board that ship um, and we need to continue our subsurface search, which is including um, different types of sonar. We have side scan sonar. We have other sonar capabilities here. We have underwater um, UAVs that we're working with. And throughout the night, we've also been working with uh, infrared technology, both from the air and on the water surface. So um, I'm going to wrap up here with just saying this continues to be a search and rescue operation. It continues to be a very dynamic operation with multiple local, state, and federal resources involved. Um, with that, I'm going to turn it over to our Mayor, Mayor Brandon Scott. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Chief. Uh, everyone, this is a unthinkable a tragedy. Uh, we have to, uh, first and foremost, pray for all of those who are impacted, uh, those families. Uh, pray for our first responders and thank them, uh, all of them working together city, state, local, to make sure that we are working through this uh, tragedy. Uh, this is an ongoing active uh, research uh, that we're having right now. We're going to continue, as you heard from Chief Wallace, to throughout as long as we have to be doing that, we will do it. 
uh, but we have to be thinking about the families and people impacted, uh, folks who uh, we have to try to find and save. This is what our focus should be on right now, and we're going to continue to work in partnership with every part of government to do everything that we can uh, to get us through the other side of this tragedy. And with that, I'll turn it over to County Executive Bocheska. Thank you, Mayor Scott. Um, I think we all awoke this morning to an unspeakable tragedy. Uh, as the mayor indicated, we know that there will be families and individuals impacted by this, regardless of what happens the rest of the way out. Uh, so I would just echo the mayor in lifting up prayers for those who are impacted, but also ask that our residents pay, pray for our first responders. Um, you know, they have been on scene since very early in the morning um, not only conducting initial search and rescue operations, but planning for uh, additional ones as the sun comes up. And, um, you know, the work that they do cannot be understated. And we just, I want to just thank them for all that they are doing and, and will do in the hours and days ahead. Uh, we know that we have a long road ahead, not just in the search and rescue, but in the fallout following this. Uh, I think we appropriately have our attention on the search and rescue efforts currently. Uh, and just here alongside uh, our partners in the city to say that they have our full support, just as we want to thank um, our state partners for the resources they've offered up, uh, as well as uh, the federal partners who have already reached out. Uh, the mayor and I have talked to the governor. We've, we've heard from the secretary of transportation. Uh, so collectively, we thank everyone for uh, their thoughts, their well wishes. Uh, but again, this is a very active situation, and we want to just thank uh, the chief and our teams for all the great work they're doing. And with that, I'll turn things back over to the chief. 